What is going on guys? We are back with another video. And today, no, it's not a too hype video. The last video did not do too amazing. And I am very into NBA jerseys, so I figured why not bring you the new jerseys they just released today. These are the NBA earned edition jerseys, but before we get into them, please subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. Helps out more than you even know. And now let's get into these jerseys. So, like I said, these are the NBA earned edition jerseys. You get them by making the playoffs. Uh, there are two at the end of the video that you will see of teams that didn't make the playoffs that for some reason have one. Potentially, there are pictures of them, but we don't know if they actually have them. First up, we have the Indiana Pacers. Uh, they got this yellow with jersey with the pinstripes. Not my favorite, but you can't ever really expect too much from the Pacers jerseys. Uh, so it, it's okay. Nothing to like to be jumping off the walls for. Nothing too special. But yeah, that is the Indiana Pacers jersey. Uh, they did not make these earned jerseys last year, but they are doing them this year, which I think is really cool. And the next team is the Utah Jazz. And I like the Utah Jazz jersey. I like this. I think it looks cool. It's I don't know if it's supposed to be like a throwback or if it's just supposed to be similar to their older green jersey that they have had in the past before. Um, I like it. Not anything like amazing. Uh, nothing that I'm just going to like go out of my way to make sure I get one of because I have a lot of NBA jerseys. I love getting NBA jerseys, but this is not going to be one that I'm trying to get as hard as I possibly can. But it is pretty cool and it is definitely definitely better than some other teams so yeah i think the jazz did a good job on this one and all in all i think pretty good job uh whoever made this does not need to get fired one jersey that i think a lot of people are gonna like but i don't is the philadelphia 76ers jersey so this one has the big bell in the middle with the number on it but i feel like it's too much color going on in one spot like it's got the cream with the blue bell on top, with the white letters on top, with the red outlines on the letter. S something about this jersey just doesn't look right to me. And I don't know if it's just the simplicity of it or what, or like, I don't know. It just, the red on the bell with the white numbers just does not look right. The bell looks weird. I don't like this jersey. Even though at first when I saw it, I thought I was going to like it. But then I looked at it and I was like, no, that's actually a pretty ugly jersey. I don't like this one. Uh, I feel like it was a good idea, but they executed it terribly. The bell looks weird. It just doesn't look like a good bell. I feel like they could have done better on it. The numbers look really awkward on there with the white and the red on the outside. But yeah, now that your eyes had to see that, let's give them a good sight. The Toronto Raptors. This is really cool. I actually really like this. Uh, I love the purple on it. It looks so cool. And I know some people said it looks like a Chevron logo, which, yeah, it kind of does look like the Chevron logo, but the purple just looks so cool, even though it looks like a purple arrow going across the jersey or up the jersey. I'm a big fan of it. I uh, like their newer jerseys that they released this year with the Raptors in that triangle shape, and this is going right along with that. Purple and black look so nice with the white letters. I like it better when they, on NBA jerseys, don't have an outline on the letters like this. This looks cool. Like, they're just the white letters right on top of the purple. I think that looks really nice. I'm glad they didn't try to, like, outline it in red or something like that. You never know. Maybe it could have looked cool, but I'm glad they didn't try to do too much. And they just kept it pretty plain and simple. I do like that. Next up, the Orlando Magic. This just looks like a regular Magic jersey, like, nothing too special. Usually what you're going to get with a Magic jersey, like, you never need to expect too much. And they just gave us something that probably didn't take up too much time to come up with because they have had similar jerseys to this in the past. So, yeah, not nothing too special. I, I like it, but it's not any be better than any other jersey they have this year. Uh sides of orange Orlando jerseys that are pretty dang ugly. Those ones are ugh nasty. That's the only jersey that it's better than 
all the other ones, it's like, meh. It's not the best jersey. Uh, next jersey we have is the Los Angeles Clippers. This is a pretty lame jersey. Pretty lame. The Clippers need to figure something else out because this is lame. This is not a cool jersey, I'm going to be honest. It's the same exact design they've been using for a couple years now. Except now it's grayed out with the slight red around the arms, like where the sleeves would be, uh, the red and blue. So, really not much going on. It's pretty boring looking. Uh, I am not a fan of it. And I feel like Clip Clippers just need a whole rebrand. They need to figure something else out because I don't even know. Like, the coolest jerseys that they've had in a while is the Buffalo Braves ones. Those are pretty awesome. But besides that, they haven't had too much going for them. So, they need to, they, they need to work on something, get in the lab and create something new. Next up... We have probably top three best NBA earned jerseys for the 2021 season. This is really, really cool. It's the Denver Nuggets with like the basketball and the pickaxes. Here's an example of a cool jersey that is really simple. It didn't do too much, but it looks good. The Philadelphia 76ers logo was simple. But they did too much at the same time on the simplicity. They're going for the simple look, but it was too complicated of a simple look. This looks awesome. Uh, obviously, going back to their mining days. I think everyone could agree. This is really, really cool. And I would say this one might be my favorite out of all of them. Uh, I can imagine a bowl bowl in that jersey would look awesome. Next up, the Houston Rockets. This looks pretty cool. I actually really like this one. Uh, the black with the really bright red over top of it looks really nice. And I think that that's a pretty good design for an earned jersey. I feel like these jerseys aren't supposed to be anything flashy. They're not supposed to be like a city edition jersey where they just try something new because they can just change it next year anyway if people don't like it. This looks cool, though. I like just how it looks like they're regular jerseys. But the bright red on the dark, dark black like that looks so cool, I think. And yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. Good job, Houston Rockets. Now, speaking of bad jobs, what the heck is this? Dallas, what were you thinking? Like, seriously. This is so, so lazy. The Mavericks have had this jersey before, haven't they? Like, literally comment down below. I swear the Mavericks have had this jersey before. At some point, like I know I've seen this at some point before. Let me know if I'm correct, but this is really bad because I swear I've seen this jersey before. And in my, it's just, in my opinion, it's so lazy. Not a big fan. Come on, Mavericks. You have Luka Doncic and your owner's Mark Cuban. I feel like you should be able to get some better stuff done than this. And also your City Edition jersey, it ain't it. I know some people actually like it, which confuses me. But that is not gold, that is bronze, and it looks dumb. Okay, Boston Celtics. I actually really like this jersey. The Celtics are kind of running out of stuff to do because they're kind of like the Lakers, except I like the Lakers, how they're kind of trying to embrace the showtime and trying to make uh, them seem like the good guys. The Lakers are trying to embrace that good guy role, and so that's actually going well for the Lakers. But the Celtics are trying to keep it plain, but they're running out of ideas. I like the lime green that they're using. I think that's cool. I feel like they could expand with maybe like a clover on a jersey with like a lime green or something. I like the way they're going with this. The Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets have been experimenting big time. They have been literally trying anything to keep like to get people to watch their games. I know they have Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving now. That was just a little joke. I'm not actually serious. But I actually like this jersey. I know it looks like a Magic 8-Ball. That's what first popped in my head. I was like, that looks like a Magic 8-Ball. But I think it looks cool. The background on the jersey is really cool with, like, the waves, uh, like, the gray and the black. That looks really nice. I like that. And it just says Nets in, like, what is that, like, Arial font or something? I don't know. It looks pretty weird. But it's not the worst jersey I've seen. Um, 
Okay, here's another one of my favorites. This one has to be another top three. The Milwaukee Bucks. Now, I'm really praying that this jersey actually looks cool. Because without the shorts, this thing might look stupid. It might look really dumb. I want to know what it looks like underneath the shorts. If it is, still looks like a full antler like that. Because it, the Bucks got the whole antlers going up the side. I want the Bucks on their jerseys to embrace Bucks more. Uh, not just like putting the words bucks on there. And this is really cool the way they did this. It's not the biggest change in the world, but I think if when you they're like underneath the shorts where the jersey is, if it has like the full antlers, then this is just, this is a win. But if it doesn't, then this jersey kind of sucks, like just to buy on its own, but I, I'm sure these will look awesome in game. Next up... One that I will definitely have to get, the Los Angeles Lakers. Going back to a similar to a Mamba jersey. I don't know if they're going to consider this a Mamba jersey. It doesn't look to be snakeskin, but it's got purple and yellow, and then it's a black jersey. Uh, and look, they got none other than Dion Waiters jersey. It just Every time I see it, I keep thinking, oh, it's Dion Waiters, but he's not even on the team anymore. Uh but I will definitely have to be getting this because I try to get every different Lakers jersey I can because I'm a Lakers fan. I have the LeBron purple, LeBron mamba, LeBron yellow, uh, and LeBron City Edition from last year. So I have four Lakers jerseys right now that are all different. I have videos on all of them. You can go check it out. There's also a playlist with every jersey video I've ever made. So you can go check it out any video you want there. Um, the next jersey is the Miami Heat moving away from the Vice jerseys, it looks like. Now using some heat, I guess is what you could say. Like maybe they're going to make a yellow one like this or like a yellowish orange one. Then they're going to make an orange jersey. Then a red, then maybe like a dark red or black. Uh, starting here with this yellow, That's that's an assumption. That's not a proven thing but this kind of looks weird i don't really like it that much but hey the heat are using some bright colors and they can't just i hope they don't just juice and milk this vice thing so i'm glad they tried to do something different but i don't i'm not the biggest fan of this jersey at all next up the trailblazers i actually really like this, this is my favorite trailblazers blazers jersey they've had in a while just i know it's black and white that's all they did but it looks really cool it just reminds me of like Arvidas Sabonis because Arvidas Sabonis played back when uh, it was like the old Trailblazers. And for some reason, this just reminds me of like the tra Clyde Drexler, the Arvidas Sabonis, the old time Trailblazers, even though I wasn't alive for that. It's just what I, it reminds me of. And I really like this. I know people are saying it's lazy. It just looks like they turn the saturation down on every color. But I like it. It looks so cool to me. And... I think it's a good idea by the Blazers, and they didn't have to do too much, so it's kind of a win-win. The Thunder, going with like that electric Thunder feel again, like they did with their City Edition jersey, I don't really like this one that much. All they did is put Thunder in like a italicized, and then like a little line through the word Thunder that like is supposed to look make it look like electric-y, I guess. It just kind of reminds me of like a thunderstorm, I guess, but like that, obviously that makes sense. Not the best jersey, kind of plain, pretty boring. It's like that really boring dark blue color that like everyone uses. Not the coolest, not my favorite at all, but I guess they had to get one out. And so they're like, eh, let's just do this. Next up, we have. The San Antonio Spurs, like I said, there were going to be some that we didn't know if were actually going to come out, if they're actually real. Here is one of those. The San Antonio Spurs jersey. I don't know if this is actually real because they did not actually make the playoffs, so they might have not actually earned this jersey. But it looks like a lot of other jerseys they've had in the past. Slightly different. Got the Spurs logo with the 46 and the sides. They're kind of like the Celtics and the Lakers. They don't really try too many new things. I guess the Lakers do kind of experiment a little bit. But the Spurs and the Celtics definitely don't really experiment too much. 
So that's kind of what's going for the Spurs if they end up getting to wear this. Now for the Suns. I really hope the Suns get to actually wear this because this is so cool. You can't admit, like you can't say to me this isn't a cool jersey. This is so cool looking. Uh, obviously, it's got Aaron Baines' number, which is going to be weird because he is not on the team anymore. Uh, I can really imagine Ricky Rubio wearing this even though Ricky Ruby is not on the team anymore either. But this is pretty cool. It's got like a retro vibe to it. Uh, there's It looks similar to that Steve Nash era jersey that they had. Looks pretty similar to this. I don't know if it's like a exact copy of it, but it looks pretty similar to that. And that's all of them, guys. That's all 18 of them or 16 of them. We don't know if there's going to be 16 or 18. But if you stuck around to the end, there's no way anyone stuck around to the end and listened to me talking this long. But if you made it to this far, please comment that you did in the comment section below. Dude, that would mean so much to me. There's no way someone stuck around to the end right here. But if you did and you aren't liked and subscribed, dude, you just sat through a 16-minute video of me talking. You should like and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.